So, Rune Shrine. Um, you only need missiles to come in here. Um, and voila, you have an item that's just sitting there waiting for you to take it. Um, before you commit to getting this item, make sure to understand that uh, unless Morph Ball is placed here, you're expected to either have Morph Ball or Space Jump Boots to get out. And that's because without Space Jump or Morph Ball, you can't really uh, make it on the other side of this uh, half pipe here. You just don't jump high enough. With Space Jump Boots, you can. Um, but more importantly, uh, if you don't have Morph Ball, also, funny enough, this, in this invisible wall is here until you uh, fight the beetles. Or actually, no, it's until you collect the uh, the Morph Ball item itself. So this could be an easy place to get quote-unquote soft locked in. There's actually a way to get out that's annoying, and I'll show it later on. Um, but just to be a bit safer, sorry, the logic will never expect you to get an item here and then leave without having either Morph Ball or Space Jump Boots. Now, you could be expected to get one of those items right across this room because there's nothing stopping you from getting the item aside from a boss fight, which is easy enough to, to fight. They're just a set of beetles. You can skip that boss fight by scan dashing um, over the boss trigger. So it's like this big square that's like kind of short though. So you can just, it's short enough that you can just jump over it. No uh, space jump needed. You can just uh, make it across. And it's also nice to be able to uh, get Morph Ball here before you fight the boss because now you can actually escape the room. The invisible wall that's on the half pipe leads to the morph tunnels no longer there. If you have bombs at this point, this is when I would check them. Um, so you can just be like, oh, oh no, I, you know, I, I triggered the boss fight, even though I got the item. Well, that's fine because the invisible wall here is no longer there, and you can just travel through. Um, another thing you can do your first time in here is if you don't have the means to get up this half pipe, whether it's space jump. Um, or, you know, in a glitchless setting, boost ball. You can slope jump back... Well, let me try this again. You can do what's called a slope jump. You can slope jump up of, up these, like, you know, diagonal slopes. And you actually get extra height out of it. So normally, you know, I'm not... I'm jumping much closer to the, like... I'm hitting, like, the bot. My head's hitting the bottom of this ledge, when normally jumping, I'm not quite making it, right? So you can slope jump up here, facing back... Slope jump backwards. And then what I'll do is I'll buffer, pause, or, uh... Or the map and then get an idea of what the item is across it's just one way of getting intel um although i think i i was using space jump there unfortunately so um you can do it with a single sp let me demonstrate it with an actual like without space jump because really that's what's important um so all i'll do is i'll do a slope jump and then immediately go right and then try to buffer the pause menu to get an idea of what that item model is across now if you have space jump you can skip needing to get boost ball. If you have, okay, so if you have space jump and morph ball, you can still get this item. And uh, it's easy enough. You can just jump up to this branch. And there's collision you can stand on. Let me uh, actually look further down. So I'm aiming for this branch right here. You can land on the tip. It's just this narrow piece of collision. This narrow strip that uh, extends to all the way to the length of this tip of the branch here. And then... Just uh, walk backwards slowly until you can do a full jump. Um, you may have to walk to the right a little bit. I tend to just stand on the edge of the branch here because I know for a fact that I will that I'll, I will always clear this ledge. Then you just space jump up, and you're on the ledge. And then you can uh, morph, get your item, come back out. And then if you have a decent scan... Oh, actually, let me demonstrate something else. So one, you can also skip needing to get um, Spider Ball to reach Tower of Light. And I'll show it here. You can either scan dash from this ledge, which can all be done without space jump, although getting up to that ledge without space jump's hard, or just annoying. One of the easiest ways to get up, though, is I'll do this. So, stand here, where you're not quite up to the top ledge. Be flush with it. So, like, if I'm, I'm holding right right now and I can't move anymore to the right, I'll space jump, flick right, so that I'm on the very edge of the ledge, and then I'll execute a slope jump up these like up this rubble here what you want to do though is you want to slope jump and then you want to hold right a little bit jump but then immediately hold left and that'll get you the height from a slope jump but then you won't hit the bottom of this um, otherwise you'll just lose height so you'll slope jump right hit left I hit the bo I hit the ceiling unfortunately so I have to try again I'm staying a little too far to the right another way of gauging this too is hold down left slightly until you're no longer losing height so now I'm flush with this floor 
slope jump right, hold left, and then you'll want to jump to this, like, corner here. That's actually standable. And then you can either jump to this metal strip here. And I just fell down, so let me try that again. You don't need to gain too much height off of it, but you do need a slope jump to make this easier. So you want to, like, do a right-left motion pretty fast. Hopefully the input display is showing it. And I'm just being stupid, so... Let me try that again. Don't worry if this takes you multiple tries. It's, it can be frustrating to, under, like, to try to do, because it's easy to hit a ceiling either here or up there. Don't don't hold up and stop. You want to like be, you want to clear all of this so that you don't hit your head. Stand here and then just space jump up here and you're good. And that'll get you to the Tower of Light door uh, without needing Spider Ball or Boost Ball for that matter. Uh, hope this helped. Uh, again, I know a lot of the early routing can be uh, pretty crazy, especially as you take on new tricks, but. Uh, just knowing what you can and cannot do is huge for Prime. Uh, for in terms of understanding what items are really locked behind um, versus what they technically are from like a glitchless standpoint. Um, even in like a glitchless logic, it's still useful just because you can get so many more items earlier than intended and be able to route in a lot of these early Chozo te uh, checks um, uh, and sort of bundle them in so that you're not having too many missed checks that you have to come back for and potentially lose time on. So it, it can offer some nice time savers like that. So uh, hope this was helpful. Hope you enjoyed this. Happy routing, and I'll see you next time. Bye.